Hello gamers, welcome to another my video and another review of, so to say, maybe interesting games for you to play. So in this review it will be probably two reviews as you get used to on my channel because this game is called Mars Action Infinite Ambition and it is very 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 big so to say very big game so I will need to show you as you get used on my channel to show you every part of this game how it looks like so you to decide if you want to start playing this game or not so I would need probably need two video reviews of this game so to be able to show you every part of this game okay so let's go so game is called Mars Action infinite ambition and this is of course mobile game but i play on some emulators for mobile phones and computers so as you can see it is full screen because i play on some emulators you can find those emulators if you type on google mobile phones emulators you will find them and you can see you can play like this you will have game like this for example and you can play other your mobile games also on a computer so it, it, it is very interesting made game that have unique things in game so that is why i decided to review this game so you to decide if it, if this game is for you if you like it or not sorry for not putting music and sound music is very cool but sound is like you have feeling that is on mars so all the time is hearing like it is sand uh wind wind so to say moving so it is a little annoying and to better you hear me okay so let's get started to introducing this game of course so you to decide if you want to start playing this game also this game have some mini games that need some time to show you so i will in that other video show you but i will now concentrate on some basics so let's let's of course let's get started it is, it is strategy game and we have of course like resources like in every other strategy game here we are at the upper side there are resources that you can get to build various things so for example those resources and for, so for example we have buildings here we are buildings that make resources everything in game i must say is very nicely described so just by clicking here for example help everything is very very nicely described and interesting thing in this game is when you build these resources buildings it will generate resources even if you are not in game so you don't get to the game to collect resources which is very nice nice thing in game sort of say so for example when you start also yes i want to tell you that i will tell you tips and tricks in this game because i have a lot of experience in this such game such games strategy games mobile games i have a lot of experience so i will also tell you tips and tricks for beginners okay so let's for example i wanted to tell you this thing minefield i advise you to uh, upgrade and level up as much as you can as you can see i'm recently started playing this game but i'm uh, very familiar with this game to make this review so this uh, re resources pit minefield is very important because to upgrade your priority must be to upgrade because that is here we are it is rare rare earth element so to say rare earth uh, resources and that is needed to um up to buy uh troops to build troops so for example here we are troops of course you build troops here we are at mecha factory you have troops to build and the interesting thing in troops or oh, each kind of troop is good against other kind of troops and bad against other kind of troops so for example we have one two three kind of troops and fourth kind of troop is vehicles vehicles is only good for harvesting resources on map i will later show you map of course how it looks like so vehicles only build when and use when you want to harvest resources because they are not good against any kind of troops so for example here we are you can see what troops they have so as you can see when you click 
uh, information button at the right side you can see everything is nicely described it is weak against infantry aircraft and mobile so every kind of troops they are weak so they are not good for attacking players or uh, defending your town so they are only good for as you can see excels at resources transportation so only focus when you start playing this game you don't need to build a lot of them focus on other kind of troops and best is like in every strategy game to have each kind of troop because like i said each of these kind of troop is good against other kind of troops so for example this mobile gunner is weak against infantry for example infantry is this one weak against aircrafts and aircrafts are weak against mobile so i advise you to build all kind of troops to have ready for your defense of your town and if you want to attack other things on map and other maybe players if you're interested to attack other players Okay, that is for building troops. Now let me show you how it looks like a map. Okay, I didn't want to use that. Now to show you what I mean on resources spot. So for example, this is how it looks like a map. You can put your country to have a flag on your, on your... Here we are, let's zoom out. To put country, uh, if, if you want, for example, like this, America, Sweden and everything, Turkey. So, for example, we have like this, this is how map look like, this is our uh, clan, this is our clan buildings where you are always, always put your uh, town in clan territory. So, for example, resources spot like in every other game you have, you can buy, you can attack monsters, here we are attacking monsters. Then, for example, this is resources spot, let's find. And this is where you collect resources. Also in this game it is very important to collect resources, to gather resources. Because resources is very hard to get in this game. Because it is very expensive to build troops for example. Which is very interesting. So when you start playing this game I advise you to gather resources on resources path as much as you can. And just send vehicles, don't send other kind of troops. Okay, let's go to the other parts of this game to I show you what is most interesting in this game. Okay. So, for example, uh, what I wanted to show you. Then we have like research. Okay, let's help our clan mates in building buildings there. So we have for example research here we are uh, as it is standard like in every other strategy game we have research and here we are uh, other research and I advise you to do not do too much research just focus on combat research that will give you uh, for example that will give you um, attacking and defense and uh, for example uh, because if you do all the research you will not finish uh, daily quest which is interesting thing like in every other game you need to do some buildings upgrade and some research to finish daily quest but it have a lot of research so you don't worry you can finish you can just for example don't finish economics you don't need to finish economics for example or captain but combat finish everything in combat you can finish so you to finish that daily task. Okay, so for example, we have daily task that I mentioned. Here we are, tasks. Here we are, daily task. I advise you like in every other game to finish daily task as much as you can, especially if you like this game a lot and want to play for a long time, then you must finish daily task because rewards are very, very good. Here we are, this is the power stone, this is the... Uh, main currency in game power stone is main currency in game so you will get these power stones a lot also for example we finished those missions here we are so missions help alliance member gather five earth element that means to gather resources on map that i showed you uh, for example then what we have a complete research here we are that what i'm talking about why you should not finish all research uh, as much as you can so because as you can see you can get 20 points for just finishing one research which is very big amount of points 
so more easily you will finish daily task. So just leave some research for finishing this daily task, for example. Then we have something like this, use 500 energy, pretty much standard like in every other game, build troops, uh, then restore mecha warriors, for example, and so on. That is for daily tasks. Now let's collect what I wanted to show you rewards. Okay, we finished, 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 and we got this one reward. Okay, and for example, I want to tell you this tip. This is the pretty much standard, for example, this is the standard thing in game when you finish some missions in game that you build and you get resources for it i advise you to do not collect when you see these resources i advise you to, to do not collect it because only collect this uh finishing this claim claim these uh, rewards only when you need resources so for example if you don't resources you don't need to collect this so you could collect when you have when you really need to build and upgrade some things and collect these rewards but these rewards that give you experience of your captain you can collect so you to level up your fast later i will tell you how it looks like captain thing then this thing is not resources so let's collect and for example oh this one is also and we level up level up our our captain so to say our our ourselves and there are also skills so to assign to captain give you various things so for example the these resources i will save when i really need i will collect that thing okay so we're going to the next part of this game so next thing is just to look on my paper everything in this game is pretty much explained very nice so for example we have like this that uh, refresh uh, after some time then then we have a lot mini games so to say in this game L like battle is especially different th than other games when uh, heroes are attacking uh, monsters so i will show you that part so for example let's use this mini game shoot that you get each day here we are at, at right side or at this building so let's shoot to I show you how it looks like so here it is you need to shoot and so let's shoot and let's see this is how much damage we done this is the rewards that you can get from it when you kill the when you kill the monster so interesting mini game so to say but we run out of the bullets but it will replenish each day when game resets then what I wanted to tell you, of course, there are VIP thing and interesting thing that uh, in VIP thing, you don't need to activate VIP to have boost, which is very nice. I like that a lot to not need to activate boost uh, to activate VIP to get uh, nice things from uh, VIP. So only like in every other game you need to log in. So for example, we just log in. Let's collect rewards for login. And here we are we are VIP upgrade. So this is the amount of login points. So every time you log in each day, you will get more points. So try to at least log in every day so to get more points for VIP because VIP in this game will give you very very big boosts about everything in games so for example this is my today vip why tomorrow will be 20 little more points i will get from vip if i log in each day so for example there are also rewards daily vip chest which is very nice okay we got this one then we have for vip2 this one let's collect and okay okay and this is it so vip is very important in this game so try to log in every day and you will very very fast level up your vip level no need to activate vip then what it wanted to tell you something very interesting in this game is they have like this daily free teleport which is very interesting because 
you, you get daily free teleport each day so you could use for example it is interesting if you like to attack other players i don't like too much attack uh, other players in every game so if you like maybe to attack other players you can use this teleport every day you will get two teleports for free which is very 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 interesting thing so need to so no need to buy this teleport so just every day you will get to teleport for free okay so let's go to the other parts of this game what i want to show you uh, then we have of course some alliance thing clan things of course here we are the our alliance and here like it is pretty much standard like in other games you have to collect uh, these uh, re rewards that people do from the game this uh, chest gifts called gifts that people are attacking other monsters in rally for example in rally you together attacking other uh, no attacking monsters on map together in rally so you will get gifts for these things for example like this let's collect this all these rewards and eventually when you collect enough keys enough to uh, open this chest gifts then you will for example you will get this gold chest to open when when it is enough keys uh, your from activity of your clan members okay let's claim all oh very nice very nice <clears throat> okay so this is the rewards for example okay you can buy this that is uh how about gifts of, of course i advise you to join some other alliance if you clan thing if you really like this game i advise you to join as much as you can stronger alliance of course for example this is the rally war that i'm talking about that you can together attack monsters on map and interesting in this game you have members as you can see our limit for members is 100 so you can have in clan a lot a lot players a lot lot players you can have so in these games so you could meet for example other people and get in touch and uh, maybe you have good some friendships in in strategy game i seen in strategy games especially you can find very good friends for example and some maybe will be for a long time your friends and maybe play other games of course together then we have something like this store of course where you can buy things from clan shop or allows shop for example this is my points when you click on this help button everything is well described as you can see you can buy everything here that you're going to need then what we have here okay okay so for example a player rename you can change your name then captain rename everything you can buy here from this and you get points from sending helps i'm talking about this when you're sending helps you can get points for for your so you could buy in 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 this clan store then what i wanted to tell you we have in games of course you can collect these resources these resources uh, spawn every day <clears throat> every day they spawn so you can collect it as much as you like for example let's collect each day they spawn and i advise you to collect them all because you will need resources in this game and so on then we have something like buildings i just level up my my uh, uh, command center and in this game as you can, as you probably know the most important thing is to level up your command center here we are that command center to level up that is your goal must to call to level up as fast as you can and you will with each level you will have more resources and more buildings to open to build and the interesting thing is there are limit how much amount of buildings you can build but 
uh, you can for resources and military these three military buildings you can choose which you want to have more and which one you don't have to build at all i advise you to build for example mechanic house because mechanic house will store your wounded tr troops so you need a lot mechanic house and make a company for example as you can see supporting it is increased manufacturing capacity of your troops which is not so important uh, when you start playing this game cabin is mecca for example collect gas and everything is well described then we have resources and when you start playing this game on um, you can focus to most build quartz pit this building and minefield because those resources you will need the most when you start playing this game and later you will need this kind of buildings to get resources so you don't need to build also interesting you can uh, move your buildings and put them everywhere you like <clears throat> so to you put them everywhere you like so your base you to look like unique and for the end of this video, because I'm to mention making long this video, I will make second video review of this game to show you other parts like chapter and some other things. Like for example, I need to show you these things and to explain you that thing and battle to show you how battle looks like. Battle is totally unique. That our heroes are attacking so i wanted to show you this thing when you recruit your heroes so in game are heroes here we are recruit hero recruitment so let's use our the hero recruitment see what you're gonna get to see how look like this animation so and we got one for example an and andra piece okay and we have this one to recruit let's advance it recruitment that is and so i advise you to uh each day log each day try to recruit those things like this so for example this is needed two days to refresh okay so there are heroes in this game everyone every hero is here that you can get from basic warp from quantum warp you can get better heroes and here we are everything you you could get for example so let's see my heroes to show you this is the heroes that you will get you can upgrade those heroes of course you can upgrade and focus on only on heroes to upgrade the only heroes that you will use in battles each hero have its own unique skills here we are unique skills you can also upgrade his skills here we are you can upgrade the skills and level up for example like this you can experience okay uh, and you can level up if you have here we are when you have enough fragments you can level up him and that thing this is how it looks like so just focus on heroes that you will use like this so uh, purple heroes are the best blue is now to show you what i'm talking about for end of this video so we have heroes and here we are uh here we are purple heroes are the strongest heroes blue is below them so purple heroes if you got purple heroes just level up them to be stronger in this game okay so i'm uh, sorry for not making i need to show you captain things for example explain your skills with tips and tricks in skills so i hope so this video was very interesting for you to decide if you want to start playing this game and just watch my second video review of this game to show you other parts of this game how battle looks like and some uh, other tips and tricks for if you for tips and tricks even if you want to start playing this game so for example we got this again because uh, refreshing every 10 minutes this is a thing and that would be it for this so to say a little short review because i will make second video to not make it long this video this is game very big for explanations every part so just watch my second video to show you other parts of this game and other tips and tricks for them okay see you next videos bye